Welcome to another training session of Cymatic Manager. In today's session, we will see how we can use the pointers in Cymatic Manager. So let's start today's session. Before talking more about the pointer, first we will see a data block, which is DB1. And as you can see that in this data block, I have created two structures in it, okay? The first one is for the conveyor one setup, and the second one is for the second conveyor, okay? And each of these structure has three variables in it. These are integer variables and each having some initial values. As name suggests, speed 1, speed 2, and speed 3, these variables can be used for a frequency reference or the speed reference for the motors. Same way, conveyor 2 setup also has three variables in it, speed 1, speed 2, and speed 3. All of them are integers and having initial value 0. Okay. So here, as you can see that this is integer and the speed one variable is consists of two bytes, okay? Zero and one. And the second variable is also consists of two bytes, uh, two and three, okay? And the third one is also consists of two bytes, okay? Four and five. And so, as you can see here, bytes are starting from the zero and they will end at 5 okay so the total bytes in the structure 1 are 6 okay and the same is the case for the structure 2 also okay as you can see here it is showing that that this structure has 6 bytes in it okay now there is a scenario that we have to send the speed references from this structure to this structure okay so this can be done using move command okay but but the problem is that with the move command we have to send all the data one by one okay for each speed reference we have to use three times the move command so to overcome this problem we will use the block move command okay we have to use it once and it will transfer our data from one structure to another structure at once Okay, so let's go to the OB1. Okay, this is okay, this is our OB1. And we will search for block move command. It will be it will be in standard library system function blocks and SFC20. So this is our block move command. Okay. As you can see here that this block move command has three variables. The first one is the source block, okay? And the second one is the destination block. From the source block, we will use the pointer to point towards this structure. And the destination, we, by using the pointer, we will point it towards the our destination structure okay what it will do it will copy the values from this column and paste these values in these variables okay now one critical thing here is that if you want to copy from one structure to another structure your data type should be same if it is not same it will not copy okay and name doesn't matter it will just copy the number of bytes, okay, and paste them here. So let's see the block command. Now the return value. Return value is basically, as you all know, that it is used to show any error in the operation, okay. For example, if the data is moved correctly and successfully, it will show zero. If there is an error occurred while copying data from source to the destination, it will show other than zero, maybe one or two. We have to. We can check its detail from its help menu. Okay, now we will see how we can use the pointer. Okay, so to use the pointer, we will use the command p. p is for the pointer and hash. Hash is its syntax. We have to write this. Okay, now we will write db1, okay, which is our data block, and dot dbx. 0.0 now as you can see that the 0.0 is the first bit okay not even the byte 
it is the first bit of this structure okay so we will mention from this bit how much byte it has to copy or move okay so we will press space and write here byte okay so now it will go for the byte okay as you can see that this first structure has six bytes so we will write here six okay now i press the enter as you can see that it has selected this conveyor setup one structure okay as you can see that conveyor one motor setup also is showing here okay it's comment now for the return value we can write any word i will write memory word 100 and same is the case for the destination block also we will use pointer hash db1 dot dbx okay now we will select the first bit which is starting from 6.0 okay so we will write 6.0 here and now again we have to write the byte okay the how much byte it has to copy uh, okay so we will write byte six bytes it had to okay we will press enter as you can see that it has now selected the conveyor to motor setup okay the second structure okay first i will arrange some one thing left we have to put a bit here okay which is used to trigger this command so m0.0 .0, i will use it to trigger this command okay so let's load let's run the simulator okay as you can see that right now our structure one variables having some values actual value 15 17 and 20 and we and if we trigger this bit it will copy these variable values into these variables okay in exactly the same order as of the source okay so let's trigger this bit we will modify to one okay now zero again as you can see that as soon as i trigger this bit it has copied these variables into the destination and not only it has copied all the variables but also it has copied in the same order as in the source structure okay so this is how we can use the pointers in semantic manager program this is the today's session and i hope you like it Please subscribe to my channel and till next video take care and goodbye.